Hello, my name is Alexander. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alexander Jaakkola, and today Ari Savonen is doing uh, a basket case tribute makeup for me. <laughs> Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? Welcome to Fake Blood Brothers. This is the first episode. I'm very excited. Well, let's start Halloween season slash fake win. And today we're doing this the nurse scene makeup from the movie Basket Case. <laughs> yes! <laughs> And why we're doing this nurse scene and not the creature itself? Well, Basket Case is actually one of my favorite B-movies of all time. So I think we're gonna do later more Basket Case stuff. So let's not do the best stuff first. Let's do this and later the creature and something else too. So let's get to it. As you can see, we have pretty basic materials this time. Fake blood, liquid latex, wax and colors from Grimas. Also we have these rubber tubes and squirts for these blood effects, what we're gonna do later. And also we have these surgery kind of objects, whatever you like to call them. I made them with uh, using ice cream sticks and silver tape. For these latex parts, I just used this children's modeling clay and latex. Uh, with this clay, I made this uh, nasty scar looking piece and then I cover it with latex um, using about three, five, three to five layers of latex. One layer, let it dry, and later, second layer, let it dry, and so on. When I attach these surgery objects for this uh, latex piece, I just used a little bit of tape and wax and later liquid latex and when these uh, pieces were ready, uh, I attached these uh, pieces to Alexandre uh, just using liquid latex and paper, uh, I mean toilet paper. One thing what is pretty hard to explain is that when you use liquid latex and toilet paper, you have these pretty strong lines and how to fade those away, well, it's pretty tricky thing to do. Using liquid latex and certain colors, you can do it, and adding some blood or blood paste, you can do it, but it's a very hard, to, hard thing to explain. Just keep practicing and you can pretty easily in the end fade those lines away. But my style is usually that, adding more material and well, more gruesome and then it's better. Uh, to me, overdoing it is better than underdoing it. <laughs> okay, so let's see the final result. So in the original movie, uh, the actor didn't have these uh, pipes and squirts. So we just wanted to add that, well, there never can be enough blood. So Alexander was himself operating uh, his uh, pipes. And it's easy as this. Squirt full of blood and let's go. There was like this one piece there through the hair and the pipe and the squirt was, well, behind him. So he could easily just use his one hand. And so the final result was this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, here's some paper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was the first episode. I hope you like it. And more of this kind of stuff coming soon. You know, cheap tricks and tips to your own special effects projects, to your Halloween party or independent movie productions, whatever. Well, follow this channel if you like this kind of content. See you next time. Happy Halloween slash fake win and take care. Ouch. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ugh. <laughs>